one of the things you'll notice about my pieces is that something is happening all the way around. It isn't when you set that bottle, you want to turn it around because you don't know what's going to be happening. I started casting a lot of found objects, different things you can see here. I have a little plastic dog from the 40s that I found, took a mold of it, and just began playing with images. Also, I, I want to give tribute to all of those crafting women with the, um, the little studios all over the place. So I have gone and searched out old vintage molds from the 40s and 50s and 60s of these women that, and men that worked years and years ago in ceramics. So a lot of um, my molds too, I found from estate sales and then gathered them. I've even asked the family their name of the, uh, the person. So I put their name on the mold. So it's kind of, you know, passing it forward. My grandmother was a slip mold ceramic artist. So it's, it's now we're at the third and fourth generation because my daughter has done some of this too. So um, I love the way that happens. I also love when people um, see my work, they see little things that they recognize from their childhood. The other is a series that I'm developing. It's a When I Grow Up series. So the other piece is a wall piece. It's When I Grow Up, I Want to Be an Artist. I have a piece um, in a Made in California show in Brea whenever the show opens uh, called When I Grow Up, I'm going to Drive My Convertible to the Sea. So I'm playing with that Cupid doll image and then the when I grow up. I have another uh, when I grow up piece that focuses on parenthood. So, so it's a couple of things I'm dealing with there, but definitely working through this one is called Best in Show, how a piece hangs on the wall. And I love the shadows that it casts. It's great fun. I'm constantly thinking back um, to childhood. My pieces are about joy. My pieces aren't political, obviously. My pieces are more about harking back to childhood. When I'm creating my sculptures, I'm getting back into that feeling of play. I, I absolutely love to play. I was one of those children that loved to play with toys. And that, that feeling, I absolutely love. Because I can be in a studio for, and people are amazed, 12 hours out there, juxtaposing, balancing those pieces, and just playing with that concept of joy and playing with the concept of play. And I, and I love when people see my images they will recognize something. I use a plastic uh, clown, this little plastic clown head for years was on little cupcakes. People didn't have fancy cupcakes, everybody had a plastic clown head. Whether you liked it or not, you had a plastic clown head on your cupcake. cupcake. People have recognized that. I have a Barbie type of doll that I use and people see, I've even hidden for this generation, there's a little Hello Kitty in there. So I like the viewers to be involved in my pieces. And because it's imagery that people can relate to, they're involved. I was thrilled for the three pieces that I got into the show because I think they're a really good representation of my work because the bottle is um, uh, sort of that focus on the sculptural piece where it goes all the way around this and people will hopefully be walking all the way around the piece and then to discover that the top comes off and the other two are my exploration of the wall pieces and the one has that kind of Barbie image on it which does comes through a lot of my work and the other one is the Cupid doll which I'm starting to explore with the When I Grow Up series. So I was thrilled to get such a nice representation of all the, the different imagery I've been playing with.